When you think about negative things, just out loud, you are under your breath, say stop. And then say three positive things. The one thing I can tell you, and you might not agree with me, but I promise you it's true, is that you are enough. As you sit, even in the bottom of the shit pit, in your life, start wiggling your fingers, wiggle your toes, realize that you are enough. You were born enough. You are enough. You will always be enough. And if you could see the divine being that shines from your eyes, the way that anybody around you sees it, you'd never doubt your greatness again. Only because I want everyone out there to know, like if things have happened to you or your kids or somebody you know, I think the best thing to do is first, there's the whole acceptance, <laughs> not acceptance of what happened, not accepting that it's okay, but acceptance of the person, not the perpetrator, but the victim of that, you know, they're still okay. Like, I'm still a good person. I'm still okay. And I think that's the very first thing that gets taken away from somebody who's abused. Is that the abuser has to blame the other person because they can't be culpable. To just let people know that, like, healing is possible. It's always going to be something that I carry with me, I think. It's still an ongoing process. And I think a lot of us, we're standing at the edge of the cliff of success. Or we're standing on the edge of the cliff with our parachute, waiting for the leap of faith. And we're like, yeah, we're gonna do it tomorrow. We're gonna jump off this cliff. And you camp out at that, at that, at that cliff. And tomorrow com comes and you're like, well, there's a, there's a cloud in the sky, it's gonna rain soon. Or you're gonna jump off, oh, it's too hot. Or hey, I, I'm feeling a little bit sick today. I think we make a lot of excuses that by the time we're supposed to jump off that cliff, and it's sad to say this, and I don't care what anyone says, we jump into our grave instead. We still take it in unwillingly. Yeah. It is so much easier to take in negativity yeah. than to take in positivity. Okay. So if your viewers don't know uh, what cerebral palsy is, let me just tell you a little bit about it. It happens at birth. It's lack of oxygen to the brain at labor. And as a result of this lack of oxygen to the brain at labor, it can leave one side of the body paralyzed and it could affect your speech and these things are permanent. This does not go away. This is for life. And uh, when I was born, uh, I wasn't moving the right side of my body very much. And naturally, my mother was concerned about that. So she took me to the doctors to get testing to see what was going on. All about breaking through that failure and, and, and going for it, not worrying about it, not worrying about failing. It's, it's part of life. Failing is part of life. And we need to embrace it. And it, it can be a learning lesson.